but there's a way there or there I don't know which is which to go actually um, I don't know let's go and have a look up here and see oh go this way shall that might take you into the um, butterfly area more there are I found a lot of walks over that way last year I did a lot of exploring but I did get attacked by ticks but then I did go off track a bit too much and um, it's my own fault really Now I've got the Kodak and I have got a battery charger but what happens with a Kodak it's done what I wanted it to do so if it packed up completely and went and fro froze itself again basically I just leave it because basically what it means is um, I'm not quite sure if this is the way I'm supposed to be going but it doesn't matter it's coming out down the bottom um, I'm sure I had to go for a gate oh, maybe that's over there maybe that was that other path I can see a fence down here so we're not far off yeah there's lots of little yeah, I haven't been this way. Normally I go down through a gate and sort of diagonal across. But it looks to me I've come back down a quite slightly different way. It's all part of exploring. When I get to the gate down the bottom, that's when I will look at the time. Yeah. That's a nice picture, shall it? Yeah, I did a lot of exploring last year on that side. And, um... A lot of exploring it was very interesting I, I there are some wider tracks I can still use um, I've got to know the area a lot more and um, yeah I know where I've come out now back there there was a V and I took kept to the left whereas normally I would have bared down through and emerged by a gate and then gone diagonal across a field but as it is now I'm going to be skirting the edge but there are different routes I've been down all these here if you see there there's a I went down through that way last year and came out of it as well down there look you just keep going down there you'll come to some fields and then it's all signposted it's all signposted see like that it's all very well signposted. What I've got to start doing, I know what I forgot to get the other day. What? Um, ah, here's the gate. I know what I forgot to get, the um, repellent. I'm nearly out of it. What I do, I sp what I do, and I should be doing it now, is um, spray it around my ankles and a bit around my neck uh, to try and stop these terrible ticks. They're everywhere. I'll have to check myself when I get home. Here's the diagonal path. See, it just shows you can forget. But of course the other path I use would be much further over as well. But it all comes out at the same place. And there's a main bridle path that runs all the way down there. It's quite a very important bridle path. And of course embedded within all the, the woods and the trees, there have been big stately homes before now. And I got that all recorded on a, from last year. I got that all recorded. Um, about that that really very large manor house with one of the longest verandas in Europe 
apparently built by some sort of a bloke who who enjoyed life I think he fell on hard times eventually but they used to go crazy for their building look at that that's a brilliant picture of Rowbarrow isn't it yeah Chris, the gate down the bottom there you can get onto a track it's up to you Sheila if you want to do that or do you want to go diagonal across can't decide I think I'll go down the gate for a change I think we'll go down to this avenue of trees you can go either way see you'll all I'm ending I'm going to end up in that corner eventually but I think I'll just pop down here do you know what, even I, if I feel a bit sad, worried, concerned, whatever, and when I come out here, it really just lifts my spirits, you know, and um, yeah, it does. Just going quiet then, I was just thinking. <laughs> Not out loud. Ah, look at that. That's such a lovely image of Rowbarrow. That, that particular... You see this... This reference point, wherever I walk, I always look back and find Rowbarrow. It's a lovely feeling, because I do love the place. I love this. This place here, that was... This, built after the miners left to cover up all the scarred land and everything whereas this was part of a big estate um, to do with um, Burrington Burrington Coombe and all that it was a big a lot of these rich people had big estates and I mean big estates I mean they would have follies and all sorts we've got them in my own family uh, for example, you've got Dulham and Suffolk as a place, and Land Landwade, Landwade Hall, and then we've got people up in Cumbria. I've still run the place, um, Dalmain. These, uh, these, those ones are surviving. Do you see what I mean? Dulham has been built was built by a bigger very wealthy, very important Arab. Very important man. He might even be a, like a king or a prime minister or something. He bought that and he runs his, his racing stables there. And I think he gave it Dulham as a present to his daughter, but it used to be in my family tree, in my Stuckville's. And it beyond here, this is a big estate that belonged to somebody. It probably still is run by someone, but the house was... The ruins of some of the house can be seen further down. And some old chapel, which I videoed last year. I only found out about that last year when I was walking... I wanted to explore some lower routes to, to Barrington, which I did. It was, quite, it was quite a long walk, and I remember at times feeling a bit... Not a bit, very isolated. But I got a feeling there's a way in somewhere through there. But you have got to be careful if you enter private areas. How do you know they haven't got dogs? See? But that. And you can tell by the trees. These really beautiful trees. Now, I'm not saying they're not beautiful, Robero, but they are designed trees. They are commercial trees. <laughs> different but be, I'm, I'm, there is a gate to drive yeah, but this, where I'm going to come out now I'm going to carry on taking photos
where I come out now is a drove. I've deliberately come here to walk rather than going across the field. Just to have a look here. And to be aware that over the other side is a huge estate of... I don't know if they somebody still owns it now. They, I think they do. Um, I can see a load of wild garlic in there. I'm not saying you can't go in there, there's a gap there, look. There's a gap there. Big patch of wild garlic right over there. And then this is, this is the drove. And you can follow this drove all the way to Burrington and it branches off so that you can end back up at um, Dolbury. And probably I haven't, if I go further down there, which is all downhill, I'll probably come across more wild garlic. There's a big old tree, I've seen a lot of you. And a great big avenue of trees there. Look at this big tree. He's had his day, hasn't he? Whether he died, it's big. This at a beach. Big old tree, this one. I don't know if you were down last time I came. Huh? But look over there, if I just zoom in over there, above those logs, you can see a whole blanket of wild garlic. Look. Look at that. It's a patch. Patch of wild garlic. And this is an estate, and further up, I think there's a sign saying private. I think so. It's definitely some sort of estate anyway. They built things big in them days, didn't they? I just love spring, don't you? Look at that. That lovely plant. Gorgeous, isn't it? Is it still working? Yeah. Like I said, I've come up from down there. I did a lot of exploring. And uh, when I get up here a bit, it'll just take me to where I'm going to decide which path to take to enter Robera Warren. I'm not heading for Cheddar today. The idea today is to go to Winscombe. That's the idea today. And catch the bus that comes about 20 past. But I'll probably be there before that. Look at the size of that tree there. Let's take a picture. I probably took a picture last year. Look at those trees there, aren't they gorgeous? There's a sign there, please be uh, aware, shooting at all times. Oh, they always do that, mind, do they? Yeah, they often say they're shooting. They do that over Banwell. It's, to, uh, it's a way of um, stopping you going in. And yet it's also got, it's not banning you, if you look on that tree, it's not actually banning you, or saying you can't come in, but you need to be aware, shooting at all times. Now do they mean shooting with a gun or shooting with a camera? Look at that, well it's so tempting isn't it? But I haven't got time today, but you can imagine if I had got time, I haven't really got time. That's the trouble when you rely on public transport. I'd have to get like a seven o'clock bus out. I still have to get walk to here first before I could even do that. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah. Beautiful though, isn't it? Beautiful. Somebody just state, and I've got it all written down, the name of the person who owned this land. But look at that beautiful tree there. Let me just home in on a minute. Look at that. Look at this lovely trunk. And the one next to it, a sister tree, has collapsed and died. But look at that one. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Let me take a picture of it again. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Look at the size of that! It's just so big. Now, it's the footpath there, look. So that's showing that people do come from there via that route. I'll have to get the map out again when I get home later. And then they can cross the through there and go up to the fort. Wow, you are so beautiful in your photosynthesizing, aren't you? Very really gorgeous. What a lovely area this is. We're so lucky. That's why I, I like where I am because from in Western, I can still get out here. Now, I didn't need the 126 to get here either. That was what saved me when the 126 wasn't running. I could still get to places like this. I will make use of the 126. I do want to go to Wales one day. Um, I want to go to the cathedral, things like that, and do a walk over to Priddy. I want to go to Glastonbury one day. I have to get a train and a bus to do that. God, that's such a beautiful scene though, isn't it? So gorgeous. I can just see a car. A car in a field there. A black car. Is it gone? It's gone now. It's weird. I'm sure I saw a black car. Must have had a very silent motor, didn't it? Could have been a what's the name? Um, it was definitely there. I'm still videoing because I've got three batteries that we get. I can do a lot more videoing. Sony's doing the videoing. It did take some quite nice pictures last week. It went, I fiddled around and I forgot what I'd done to get it to take the nice pictures. <laughs> then it wouldn't do it again, but it took some, about six absolutely perfect pictures. I was so pleased. But I forgot to make a note of what I'd done. Anyway, not to worry. I'm not, I've decided not to buy another camera yet. I would like to see if I can get my other Sony's repaired. That's weird, there was a black car there. I can actually see tyre marks as well in the field. Yeah, so that wood there is representative of a big estate um, run by somebody. But it looks to me like you can walk up it. It doesn't say you can't, it just says beware. So that's all you can do, isn't it? Something to think of for another time. And of course the hill fort is up that way. I came down that side of the hill fort, but quite often I use that route. 
but it is nice to vary your route, isn't it? And I seen one solo man. We didn't speak. He was I was busy reflecting, and he sort of passed not close by. Young man with a walker with his shorts on, and um, that was it. Just when I see young men like that, always reminds me of my son Duncan. Always reminds me of Duncan. Now that is definitely private keep out, isn't it, right? And there's a house up there. That, that's definitely private. Now this is the place where you come and you come through if you come through Row Barrow and you want to go up the fort, you can come around the corner there. I'm actually doing it sort of in reverse. Now I've noticed the plaque has gone. The plaque that's normally on those two poles that did need repairing. And someone's broken that off, look. But that's new. That is new. I do love this place, you know. I can sit and remember walking here. This is a moment in time and I'm, I can only think back to here now on this day. This beautiful day. And, um... I really do feel at peace when I'm in these places. <sighs> but feeling sad is...